Hi guys and welcome back to another instalment of the Zenfinex monthly forecast. Today I'm going to be analysing the GBP USD market which has broken key structures on the higher time frames. However, this is a case of two currencies performing well at the moment and it's really going to boil down to how the fundamentals are stacking up against each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going through the current themes at the moment and then giving my opinion on where this market could be heading next month on the chart. Okay, so from a sterling outlook, uh, today we saw the publication of one of the week's most influential UK data releases, really, and this was the January job market report. Now, the UK's job market had a mixed report, I'd say. Unemployment rate was at 5% compared to the 5.2% forecasted. Um, however, the outlook wasn't so good for average earnings, which fell, uh, and the claimant count actually increased quite significantly. I think it was over 80k. Now the markets have taken this news as bearish news for the sterling and we've seen the weak data. It's kind of weighed on the market optimism uh, for the UK recovery that, we, that I've spoken about before. Now I still think or I know the UK is still widely expected to be one of the first major economies to recover from the coronavirus pandemic. You're seeing what's going on in Europe at the moment with this really sluggish rollout of the vaccine and the UK is, is smashing it on, on, on that side I have to say. Um, so I do think the bullishness uh, around the sterling, it has softened slightly, but I think it persists nevertheless uh, going into um, next month. Now, moving on to the US fundamentals, uh, where we have seen this story, I've spoken about it before, uh, around US Treasury yields. The yield on the benchmark 10-year US Treasuries, that reached 1.75% last week. Um, it was it was after exceeding a high of 1.6 percent. That was a yearly high. Um, the reason for this, as I've said, is investors are kind of betting on a stronger economic recovery, aided by the government stimulus that we're seeing, which is going to result in revived inflation. Now, as mentioned before, um, adding to this dollar's attraction at the moment was the U.S. Federal Reserve's recent. Um, tolerance really of of rising bond yields didn't react too sharply seemed happy of what was going on Jerome Powell now Jerome Powell and the Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is speaking later in the day um, and again we go back to this thing this this situation where what's the reaction going to be from this rising yield story the Fed stance has remained the same and they're key, they're, um, key to express that and if it does remain the same today from these speeches, then we can expect more of the same on the markets, right? And that is dollar strength at the moment. Okay, now then, so I'm on the chart. And as you can see, uh, for the pound dollar, we are breaking some key lows here, guys. Um, bullish for so long, uh, the pound dollar, but now looking that it might turn around, at least for the next month or so, which is what this forecast is about. So what I've got on the chart here is I've got our 50 day moving average, which as you can see, it's traded above this level since November 2020, the beginning of November 2020. Now, for the first time, we're looking to actually close on the daily below this. And this is a really bearish sign. OK, uh, it ties in with the fundamentals at the moment around the strong dollar. Um, interesting to see what Jerome Powell says later as well. Now, I just want to mark out the the key levels that we have broken here or threatening to break at least on the daily time frame is these lows here situated around 1.37 1 1.38 1 um, as you can see 1.39 didn't hold for too long now if we get a close which is A below the 50 day moving average and B below both of these lows here this one and this one then I'd expect this week to continue to the downside um, for the pound USD market um, or at least come back and test the 50 day moving average which would be a nice selling opportunity um, buying levels uh, and which coincides with take profit levels for the sales I'm looking at I would say this order block here um, let me mark that for you it's quite a large area quite a large area of support where we saw this nice wick here um, if I mark this level 
as our daily take profit level where I could see the pound sterling falling to um, in the next coming days uh, around the 1.37 mark would be a nice opportunity for a rebound if you are still long term bullish in this market which I am um, I am still very optimistic about the sterling then this would be a nice level and it comes back and it really we had this extension from this I'd say measured upside upside I know but there wasn't any gaps to be filled we had this extension here which was clearly overextended and we could just treat this as a correction right so let me remove those drawings and we can have a look on the four hour to try and get some more selling opportunities now what we've had on the four hour chart here is we've had a break of structure there we've also had a break of structure or nearly this is as as of recording this video um, we're threatening to break this structure low as well now if we can close below it or maybe the next four hour candle closes below it then I've got a really nice area to sell from and this area would be around here 1.385 four hour order block an area of nice resistance uh, from this level I'd like to zoom in potentially down onto the one hour time frame and see if we can shrink this level even further now we do have we could shrink it into this level but when you actually look there is a bit of inefficiency there so I will mark this level and delete the fact it's a four hour order block because we're refining this level. Now what we could have is either a selling opportunity from, from this one hour order block or a selling opportunity from potentially this as well. Now this is the area where the candle following it has the most inefficiency. You can see this gap in the market here which would need to be filled. It's maybe on its way um, at the moment. Now if we could get a selling opportunity from from this area it's around an 18 pip stop loss if you was to sell straight from it and our daily take profit being around that level here which I marked previously uh, it's around a 4.73 R trade which isn't too bad at all um, if you want to be if you want to be patient and just delete that and you want to wait for the price to enter a higher level up here then you're looking at an even better uh, risk reward ratio which would be somewhere down at I think it was 1.37 wasn't it somewhere around 15 R um, now I'm leaning towards I'm leaning towards this level a bit more than this one up here I don't think much actually happened in terms of a break of structure whereas here you can see we broke this low and that low and that low just from that move so a key level here um, I'm trying to give an opinion for a potential buying opportunity but it's not screaming out to me at the moment um, potentially down at that 1.37 level if I zoom in on here we did have quite a significant break we had this triple top which was broken um, and it was potentially broken by yeah I'd say this level here could be a buying opportunity or at least selling into this level first of all because if you look where we are now on price action we broke this order block we broke this level and now this looks like the next level that was going to be tested so really interesting times at the moment on on the pound dollar um, I am a short-term seller, long-term buyer. I'm interested to see what Jerome Powell has to say um, later regarding the, the bond market. Uh, likely to have a volatile effect on this. But if you have any questions regarding um, the video, you can message me on my Instagram above me. Uh, you can drop a comment. Please keep liking and, and sharing and subscribing uh, to these videos. You can see the website on the bottom now as well. Uh, for you to go onto the website and take a look at some of the stuff we offer at Zenfinex in terms of our trading products. 
Um, but other than that, guys, I'll catch you all for the next video on Thursday. So then, guys, I'm just on the Zen for Next website now. I know there's been a few comments uh, on the videos regarding the website. And just for your information, uh, zenfornext.com is where you can find us. Uh, once you open up the website, you'll see our free trading guide, our top 10 tips from professional traders, which is a great read. Um, if you're scrolling down on the website, you'll also see our limited time offer where you can trade on a standard account with raw spreads plus zero commission. Um, if you want to find some more information about that as well, uh, you can always contact uh, the team at Zenfinex by filling in your details here. Thank you.